Good morning, everybody. My name is David King, and I'm the director of the San Diego Imperial Valley High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area, otherwise known as HIDA. It is my pleasure to welcome everybody to the 2023 Western States Marijuana Summit. On behalf of the San Diego Imperial Valley HIDA and the National Marijuana Initiative, it is my pleasure to welcome folks from 25 states. We should have over 200 attendees in what should be a very informative and important uh, summit to talk about marijuana's impact on all of our communities. It's important in the time of an opioid epidemic where we have over 100,000 lives lost every year to understand marijuana's impact on the national uh, stage and also here in the state of California lessons learned from decades of legalization. Recently, four Escondido, California third grade students became ill after ingesting marijuana edibles from a home by one of the four students. All four were transported to the hospital where one was admitted for further observation. According to Dr. Natalie Lobb of Rady Children's Hospital, the number of children under the age of 10 testing positive for THC has quadrupled since 2016. Half of these cases led to hospitalization with one in 10 requiring admittance to the ICU. We're learning that frequent use of marijuana has a potential risk factor for violence and aggression. According to MJB, daily break-ins and burglaries have more than doubled from 2021 to 2022 at marijuana businesses. In 2022, licensed businesses in California reported 329 break-ins or burglaries with losses, according to the California Department of Cannabis Control. The Sacramento Store and Distribution Center reported losing over 1 million in stolen products and cash over the past three years. And in San Francisco, a worker tragically was found dead and another wounded in an armed invasion robbery. LAPD reported 539 reports of robberies and burglaries from January 1st of 2018 to August of 2023 at marijuana businesses. And recently, several people pled guilty in federal court to drug distribution charges. This enterprise functioned as a wholesale supplier of marijuana and marijuana products to unlicensed and illegal marijuana dispensaries. And another group of three brothers pled guilty in federal court stemming from their wholesale distribution of marijuana products to unlicensed illegal marijuana dispensaries from Los Angeles to San Diego. And sadly, here in San Diego, the city of Chula Vista just uh, last week, a city councilwoman on the city council and her brother were charged with COVID paycheck protection program fraud when they obtained a $176,000 loan from a local marijuana dispensary business. It's important that our elected officials learn from our subject matter experts, public health, public safety and prevention coming together in a summit such as this so that the best practices can go forward. Let alone this year, Governor Gavin Newsom signed 14 cannabis related bills in the state of California. Some of the bills included THC testing variances, expanding the Cannabis Regulations Task Force, enforcement by local jurisdictions, local ordinance fines and penalties, cannabis provisional licenses, employment discrimination, cannabis abuse, cannabis water resources, water inspection, and licensing and cultivation changing license types. We were pleased that two uh, proposed bills were vetoed as far as cannabis retail preparation, sale and consumption of non-cannabis food and beverage products, and a labeling and advertising that would have defined the term attractive to children. So it's very important that our elected officials learn from the folks uh, and our subject matter experts that have dealt with this marijuana situation in California, like I said, 
uh, for over 20 years. Uh, I want to say a particular thank you to um, Dale Quigley, who will be our next speaker. He's the deputy coordinator for the National Marijuana Initiative. And then, of course, uh, subject matter expert Ed Shemelia, uh, who will also be doing an introduction. Please reach out to all of us at the HIDA. We are a resource for all of you across the country and lessons learned. So at this time, I'll turn it over to NMI Deputy Coordinator Dale Quigley uh, for further comments.